Chris Hauser, co-founder of Polymath, formerly a lawyer. Uh, I still do a bit of legal work, but uh, primarily focus on business and just execution of the, the Polymath platform. I, I think standardization is what this whole crypto space needs in general. We have the ERC-20 standard for Ethereum tokens, and that's sort of what brought on uh, the ICO market and all these utility tokens that you see. But what we're not seeing is security tokens, and that's just because there's no standard in place yet that can help with transfer restriction, help with verification of users, help with hold periods. And I think that's what needs to be developed and formalized to really bring security tokens to the blockchain space. What we've discussed these past two days is just creating the, the basic framework. So what sort of verifications needed and what sort of restrictions need to be put in place for these security tokens. And, that's what I think is most important to start. And then as, as the system grows, as the, uh, the ecosystem grows, the space grows, I think that's when we can add more cool features like dividends, voting, uh, freeze periods, and all, anything else that issuers may need. So I think what's really important is getting input from experts in this space. And so that's what this event, the Security Token Roundtable, is really about. It's bringing together all those experts to put their minds together to have that sort of mind meld where we can say this is the kind of features that are required for a security token. So we have a number of lawyers here. We have exchanges. We have developers, transfer agents, and, and a whole host of other KYC providers and, and other players in the space that can really help guide this standard to where it needs to be.